Hi everybody, my name is Alex Jerome. I'm the design manager here at Green Hippo. And today I'd like to take you through the new 4.8 release and show you a couple of the brand new features that we got rolling out for you. All right, let's hop right in. All right, so first up, our new show manager. Uh, when you launch um, Hippo Launcher, you'll uh, be greeted with our new show manager, which is a great new way in order to create multiple different instances of different shows all in the same system. Uh, each show lives independently of its of each other, and uh, you can easily hop in and out of, of all these different shows. So let's go ahead and create a new show. Down here at the bottom, you have the Create New Show button. Just go ahead and click that. Uh, name your show, whatever you'd like. You can then create or create and start. Create and start's going to create the show and then immediately fire it. Um, but today we're just gonna go ahead and create the show and you can sh see it pop up right there in my list, uh, my show two, actually. Um, all right, so then inside the right click menu, you also have a bunch of different options as well. You can edit your show, duplicate, export, refresh, and delete. A duplicate is a great way to, um, if you have a, a jumping off point or a show that's already been created and and you want to add to it, you can duplicate that show and then uh, start from there and, and add to that show that you've already created. Uh, you can notice over here on the right-hand side these little lock icons. If you go into the edit menu, you can actually see a, um, a locked, uh, is locked, option in there and what that's going to do if you do enable it it's going to lock down the show um, and it's not actually restricting access or anything like that it is locking down all of the settings all of the presets all the timeline everything that's in your show it's going to lock that so if somebody does access it or change it when that show is is shut down it will revert back to its original lock state and we're just gonna go ahead and leave that unlocked for right now, but yeah, that's the new locked function. All right, and then from there, um, Hippo Launcher acts as it normally would. You can go ahead and select your show that you like to launch and either click uh, Start Hippotizer, or you can fire your show using TCP, TCP commands from your show control. And yeah, that's our new uh, show manager. Next up, uh, we're gonna talk about the new preset timeline. So let's go ahead and fire this demo that I got set up for you guys. And while this is starting up, I'd like to remind you to like, subscribe, ring the bell icon for instant notifications of any tutorials or walkthroughs that we have uh, coming out for you guys real soon. All right, so. Here we go. Um, I want to show you what I have working right now, or what we're going to be working with today. Actually, um, I have some presets that I've already made. Uh, we just have a blank slate here, a clip, and then a clip with some uh, effects on it. And if you want any more information on how to create these presets, how to work with the timeline, or how to work inside the visualizer, uh, we'll have a link for Hippo School down below. And it is a great resource uh, for anybody wanting to learn more about uh, Hypnotizer. Um, it, it's just a wealth of knowledge. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. Um, all right. So the, yeah, these are our three clips that we're going to be working with today. And let's head over to our timeline. So the new preset timeline is a fast, simple, effective way to get your presets that you already have made onto a timeline and uh, playing your content. So up here at the top, you have the new preset timeline button. We're gonna go ahead and click that, and I'm gonna scroll down to uh, mix controls, and that's what we're gonna be working with today. So hit okay, and you can name your timeline whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna leave it like that, and let's hit edit. And anybody that is used to our standard timeline we have, you, you notice immediately this is a very slimmed down um, compact, sleek version of a timeline. Uh, it's meant to be very simple, very fast, very intuitive. So all you gotta do is come down here and click on Mix One Presets, and you can see over in the Properties menu uh, our bank of presets that we have already made. Um, 
and it's very simple. You just move your playhead to wherever you need it, click on your preset, and there you go. It's added, and it's really just that simple. Uh, come down here, add this one, and add. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change that up a bit. I want this one first, this one second. And it really is super easy to edit it, switch things around, and, and get your content playing really quickly. So if we go ahead and just hit play, you see our first preset, second preset, and third preset play. All right, I'm just gonna change the length of my timeline here real fast and put this in a loop. Now, if you select the keyframe to the preset, you actually have a, a couple options that you're able to play around with here in the properties panel. Uh, you can see the time of your preset, the, the bank, the slot number, and then you also have a fade type. So I'm gonna twirl that down and select crossfade and add a uh, one second uh, crossfade this one and I'm actually I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for for all three real quick <clears throat> all right and then we go back to beginning and hit play crossfades up across and down and it should loop back and it's really simple, really quick, really, really intuitive to get your, your presets that you already have made uh, onto a timeline and playing and looping. All right, so from there you have your content playing, um, but you actually, maybe you do want to have that full control. You want to have all those options, all those different twirl, twirl downs um, in order to access uh, all the different, different options you have available to you. So what you can do is come over here to your timeline list, right click on your preset timeline and create a non-preset timeline copy. And what that's gonna do is actually create a standard timeline. And if we go in here and edit this timeline, uh, it looks very similar. It is, very, it is our standard timeline. It has taken all those presets that we had uh, on there and converted them to a standard timeline for you to have full control editing over. And yeah, that's, I believe that's all for our new preset uh, timeline. Next up, we're gonna talk about the new REST API functionality. Um, real quick, let's hop over to the configuration and I'm just gonna show you that I have my REST API component enabled. Um, then where should we go to next? Uh, of the pin board. Uh, I do have on a pin board pulled out the actual REST API component. And you'll be hit with this dialog here that if you follow the URL, you'll be able to uh, find a bunch of examples to these custom pages. And what this is, is uh, our web pages with custom UIs that are built in order to uh, control your show. And it's really fast, really easy. Anybody with a base knowledge of web design is gonna be able to put something together here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Here is one of the three examples, uh, and this is what, the one we're gonna be working with today, of uh, our already pre-made uh, web pages. And you can see these buttons where we can change timelines, we can change presets from the browser. So let's hop into the visualizer and take a look at this. Um, all right, so we have a blank screen right now. I'm going to open up that browser again and let's hit preset two and it fires. Preset three. And it's really, really easy, really cool. Um, I, again, anybody with a base, base knowledge of web design is gonna be able to work with this. Uh, yeah, then so that's our uh, REST API functionality. Other than that, uh, we got a, a couple other small notes to talk about. We have added dockable windows, uh, dockable panels to shape, uh, so you can now create the uh, UI that kind of works for you in whatever situation you have. Uh, we've also upgraded NDI to version 5.5. Uh, we have also improved support for a number of industry standard codecs, including ProRes. Um, so yeah, I think that does it for version 4.8. I'm excited for you guys to get out there and try it. 
Uh, and, and always, a design prepared deliver with online media manipulation, playback, and mapping solutions from Green Hippo. Get out there and create something.